Thank you, Swami Rameshwaranand Ji. I am very happy for arranging this talk on this International Yoga Day. My best wishes to all the viewers on this International Yoga Day. And we thank once again our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi Ji uh, for making this as universal. Already we are Vishwaguru only. We are not going to become Vishwaguru. We are already Vishwaguru because our yoga is making our Bharat as Vishwaguru. Because everybody is practicing all over the world. So it is contributed by our great ancestors. Therefore already we are Vishwaguru only. Therefore, our country has got such a great uh, privilege. On this day, I am very, very happy to participate in this. I will share my, what are all my experiences and studies in yoga regarding the yoga samadhi. I will start with prayer. Yogena chittasya padena vacham Malam sharirasya chavaitya kenam Yopakarotam pravaram muninam Patanjalim pranjaliranatosmi Manayeva manushyanam Karanam Bandha Moksha Yoho. Mind alone is the cause for bondage as well as liberation. Manayeva Manushyanam Karanam Bandha Moksha Yoho. How Vishayasaktam Manaha Bandhaya Bhavati. Bandhaya Vishaya Saktam. When you have Vishaya Sakti, worldly entanglements, cravings for worldly objects, Bandhaya Bhavati. When your mind is attracted to ephemeral objects, naturally mind is bound by those objects. Nirvishayam Vimuchyatena. 
when the mind is not having any vishaya craving or crazy for the worldly objects nirvishayam vimuchyate it is free from bondage tyagaraja also in his kirtanas he sings manasu nilpa shakti leka pote madhura ganta virula poojayemi chetunu how can i do pooja to bhagavan ishvara when my mind is not controlled manasu nilpa shakti leka pote if i am not able to focus concentrate how can i do pooja then he sings another kirtana మనసు స్వాధీనమైన యా ఘనునకు మరి మంత్రతంత్ర ములేలా ఆఫ్టర్ డిసిప్లినింగ్ ద మైండ్ కంట్రోలింగ్ ద మైండ్ ఫోకసింగ్ ద మైండ్ వన్స్ ఐ గెట్ దట్ కెపాసిటీ క్యాలిబర్ మరి మంత్రతంత్రములేలా ఫర్ వాట్ సేక్ దీస్ మంత్రాస్ పూజాస్ అండ్ ఆల్ ద పర్పస్ ఈస్ సర్వ్డ్ దేర్ ఫోర్ the ishwara pranidhanam is highly recommended to develop concentration or focusing the mind on a particular object now ashtanga yoga yoga means what what is the meaning of yoga patanjali wrote sutras aphorisms they are called patanjali yoga sutras the yoga first it was given by lord shiva only adi yogi from there only patanjali has codified codified that yoga in the form of sutras in four chapters first chapter is called samadhi upada second chapter is called sadhana pada third chapter is called vibhuti pada fourth chapter is called kaivalya pada so first chapter as name itself patanjali has given samadhi pada that is why yoga derivation comes in two two verbal roots yuj dhatu 1p first conjugation parasmai padi and yunj dhatu fourth conjugation atmanai padi for grammar students you can note this what is the difference i am comparing and contrasting the ashtanga yoga and advaita vedanta yoga that is why i am giving two derivations first conjugation parasmai padi yuj dhatu to unite jeevatma paramatma aikyam to unite that is the meaning of yoga bhagavad gita each chapter is called yoga that is yoga means a topic so in different contexts different meanings are there we have to see carefully we cannot take same meaning in all places when the fourth conjugation atmane pada comes for a that is yunj dhatu yunj means samadhi to concentrate chitta vritti samadhi chitta vritti nirodha patanjali first second sutra is atha yoga anushasanam first sutra second sutra is chitta vritti nirodha that is the meaning of yoga so fourth conjugation meaning comes to patanjali yoga first conjugation meaning comes in vedanta this is the contrast the dhatu itself start you know different meanings so yoga has come ashta anga yoga even though there are four padas pada means chapters more than 500 sutras but 
we are taking ashtanga yoga eight limbed yoga that yoga which has got eight limbs we are also taking we means advaitins in vedanta we are also taking that because it is a best discipline followed by all our ancestors rishis munis sages from time immemorial till today everyone is practicing maximum people practicing i can say less number in our bharat more number in foreign countries <laughs> hmm? yoga practitioners number is more in foreign countries less number in our country hmm? that is why yoga they have understood the purpose of yoga benefit of yoga it was recognized from ancient time and now also it is recognized by all people all walks of life people the best science which works in the all round personality integrated approach of yoga that means i the human being am five layers are there physical body annamaya kosha vital body pranamaya kosha mental body manomaya kosha vijnanamaya kosha intellectual shishit or intellectual body then anandamaya kosha all these koshas put together the composite i am every one of us a composite entity every one of us five layers put to together i the individual the only science in the world which can address all the five layers the only science that which can address the problems of all the layers anandamaya kosha also there we keep it aside but up to four koshas ashtanga yoga is the best discipline best discipline for annamaya kosha patanjali prescribe asanas sthiram sukham asanam and for vital body pranayama that is breathing practices for the third layer mental body emotional body or emotions that is meditation dharana dhyana samadhi then you understand the entire system properly disciplining the sense organs and you understand then how this yoga is very very helpful and it becomes my way of life it has to become sharira madhyam khalu dharma sadhanam body alone is the means to accomplish four purusharthas dharma artha kama moksha shariram madhyam madhyam means means sharira madhyam is a means vehicle like so by doing asanas patanjali says one can prevent diseases one can cure diseases by practicing asanas every day surya namaskar onwards plenty of asanas are there beautiful young age if they follow they can live without medicines also that is possible at young age at the age of 5 or 6 if a child starts yoga abhyasa then their life is very very healthy life health is wealth real wealth is health only it should not be a lip movement it must be a truth in my life when i become a 
yoga practitioner by vital as upanadi bhupadesha saram ramana maharshi says ajyadharaya shrota sasa samam before dhyanam he talks about pranayama also pranabandhanat liyate manaha jala pakshiva drodha sadhanam so pranayama is the bridge between the mind and the body then meditation elaborately patanjali discuss in the third chapter vibhuti pada what is dharana what is dhyanam what is samadhi so the whole thing is only to control the mind means mind mastery mind mastery one has to master one's own mind your mind lord krishna said uddhared atmana atmanam you uplift yourself by yourself and your mind that mind has to be taken care of all diseases maximum diseases are caused by stress stress is over speed of the mind because of kleshas in the mind patanjali says pancha kleshah avidya asmita raga dvesha abhinivesha these five kleshas are the cause to generate stress in the mind raga dvesha pujya swami ji quotation is beautifully what is success success is this if you are if you are if you see yourself if you see yourself from your capacity to manage your likes and dislikes raga dvesha well you can be successful your likes and dislikes these are the kleshas patanjali also said in vedanta also ram lord krishna said ರಾಗದ್ವೇಷ ವಿಯುಕ್ತೈಸ್ತ ವಿಷಯಾನಿಂದ್ರಿಯೈಶ್ಚರನ್ ಆತ್ಮವಶ್ಯೈರ್ ವಿಧೇಯಾತ್ಮನ್ ಸಿ ಯು ಸಿ ದ ಕಂಪ್ಯಾರಿಟಿವ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಅಷ್ಟಾಂಗ ಯೋಗ ಸೇಸ್ ಯಮ ನಿಯಮ ಅಹಿಂಸಾ ಸತ್ಯಂ ಅಸ್ತೇಯಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚರ್ಯಂ ಅಪರಿಗ್ರಹ ಪತಂಜಲಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗಿವೆನ್ ಇನ್ ಸೂತ್ರಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದೋಸ್ yamas all of them comes many places in bhagavad gita and niyamas shaucha santosha tapas swadhyaya ishvara pranidhana i am not going to give the word to word meaning but i am just going to talk about samadhi elaborately therefore i am just giving the names all these saucha santosha tapas swadhyaya ishvara pranidhana also discussed by lord krishna same up to samadhi same all steps come in patanjali yoga sutras as well as in our shastra also bhagavad gita upanishads everywhere all of them comes then pranayama also yama niyama asanas asanas also lord krishna talks about um, asana siddhi na you have to sit in such a position in sixth chapter the whole chapter is called dhyana yoga atma samyama yoga shucho deshe pratishthapya sthiram asana atmanah natyuchritam nati neecham chailajana kushottaram this is samadhi abhyasa roopa nididhyasanam 6th chapter here also our shastra talks about uh, asana siddhi after patanjali says sthiram sukham asanam asanam must be steady and comfortable sthiram sukham asanam so asanam then pranayama also prashnopanishad talks about pranayama elaborately prana upasana is given in shastra same pranayama discussed in ashtanga yoga if you compare shastra and ashtanga yoga go in balance parallelly highly recommended ashtanga yoga in our scriptures 
the disciplined part we take from Ashtanga Yoga. That uh, whatever is said by that Baladapi Shukadapi, Yukti Yuktam Vachograhyam. If it is a logical, you can take. Yukti Yuktam Vachograhyam. The words can be taken if they are logical. Said by Baladapi Shukadapi. Even by Shukamaharshi or a small boy. If it is Yukti Yuktam, you can take. Yukti Hinam Vachastyajam. If they are illogical, the statements anywhere, yukti hinam vachastyajam, we have to give up. Even they are said by baladapi sukadapi, said by even a boy, child, boy, or even a, a parrot, shukamaharshi, like you can come, two meanings you can take. However great a person is, if they are not logical, we give up. Yukti yuktam vacho grahyam bala da pishukada pi yukti hinam vachastyajam bala da pishukada pi. So Patanjali differ at the samadhi level from Vedanta. Up to samadhi, we are common. Even Nirvikalpaka samadhi in third sutra. Patanjali says, Tada drashtuhu swarupe avasthanam. That is the conclusion of uh, Patanjali, where we differ. Tada drashtuhu swarupe avasthanam is not the final. That is also we accept, uh, but that is not final. That I will come later to that point. So, yoga, what is yoga? Yujji dhatu we take, Patanjali takes Yunji dhatu to concentrate. We take to unite. Jivatma, Paramatma, Aikyam, we talk about. But according to Patanjali, contrast you see, there are many Jivatmas. But in Vedanta, there are no many Jivatmas. Only one Atma is there. All these Upadhis Bheda, for other philosophers, Sankhya, Nyaya, Yoga, Vaisheshika, all of them, this world is real. But for Vedanta in Advaitin, world is less real than Vyavaharika Prapancha, Vyavaharika Prapancha is Mithya, I the Atma am Satyam, there we differ. We talk about Aikyam, they won't talk about Aikyam. Another comparison, comparative study if you want to do, Patanjali Maharshi accepted Ishwara Pranidhana, surrender to God. Ishwar Pranidhana is very, very important. Sankhya is Nirishwaravadi. Mimamsakas, Puro Mimamsakas are also Nirishwaravadis. Why we take Patanjali Ashtanga Yoga? He is a Saishwaravadi. Ishwara he accepts. He says in second chapter, 45th Sutra, Samadhi Siddhi Ishwara Pranidhana. Padesha Saram, Ramana Maharshi also says, Ishvara Pitam Nichaya Kritam Jagata Ishadhi Yukta Sevanam. The whole Upadesha Sara is in keeping with Vedanta Shastra. Whole Ashtanga Yoga also comes in that. Patanjali, Ishra Pranidhana, he talks about. In Chandogya Upanishad, Seventh chapter, Bhashikara Adi Shankaracharya writes, For meditation, you can take Devata Murtihi, Shastrokta Devata Murtihi, one has to take up for meditation, not any other object which is not given in Shastra. Shastrokta Devata Murti Alambanina. 
Alambanam must be that rupam, the form for meditation, one has to take from the Shastra only. Whatever given in Puranas, Krishna, Vishnu, Shiva, Devi, there are so many forms. Or Pratikam, if you want to take also, Omkara is there. Tasya Vachaka Japahana, Pranavaha, Patanjali says. You can take pranava, omkara as a, a pratikam, for dhyanam. So, yama, niyama, asana, disciplines, these are all to master your body-mind complex. To come to dhyanam, that is seventh step. Yama is the first step, you have to finish, you have to follow all those universal values. Niyamas, social conduct, personal conduct, Shaucha Santosha. Then asana, master your physical body by doing asanas. Pranayama, strengthen your vital body. Then Pratyahara, sense organs control. One has to do withdraw your senses from worldly, unwanted, unhealthy, not spiritually friendly, not healthy, from those sense objects you come back. The whole Ashtanga Yoga, Chitta Vritti Nirodha. Chitta means mind, Vritti means thoughts, Nirodha means control. Control your mind. Withdraw your mind. Otherwise, mind becomes so vulnerable, all psychosomatic elements, oppression, depression, suppression, all will come in the mind. The mind is that which you have to take care of. In all our Upanishads, Gita, mind is very, very important. One has to take even Yamadharma Raja said to Nachiketas, how to control the mind? Yes, chet vang manasi, manasi pragna. Then uh, that goes up to buddhi, then vijnana me kosha, like that one has to master. So many mantras are there, shlokas are there, sutras are there. When we follow, when we implement into our life, daily practice, it gives a tremendous benefit. Physical health you get, mental health you get, calmness, solace, peace of mind. Reduce your ragadvesha, reduce your kama. Our own ragadvesha, kama, krodha are the culprits to lose the peace of mind. Therefore, beautiful design is given by your ancestors, rishis. All the eight steps, design, prepared and kept in front of us. Encourage your children, grandchildren to practice this yoga. Very young age they follow, then only it gives more benefit. Otherwise, uh, it is not helpful much. After Pratyahara, fifth step, then sixth step comes Dharana. Dharana means focusing the mind. There in Patanjali Yoga Sutras, it comes how Dharana one has to do in the third chapter, he talks about Dharana. That is, Dharana Yogyata comes by Pranayama. Pranabandhanat liyate manaha. Jala Pakshivat Rodha Sadhanam. Breathing control, breathing ayamaha means the sustenance of the breath. By long practice only one can get. Dharana, Dharana Sucha Yogyata Manasahan. How one can do meditation without following Yama Niyamas, Asana Pranayama. Then you sit just like that in meditation, seventh step. 
वही पतंजलि हैज नॉट टेकन मेडिटेशन एज फर्स्ट स्टेप इन अष्टांग योगा इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल यू हैव टू मास्टर योर बॉडी यू हैव टू गेट आसन सिद्धि यू हैव टू सिट स्ट्रेट यू हैव टू मेंटेन द फोकसिंग माइंड लॉट ऑफ things are there involved before going to do meditation unfortunately people all want to practice meditation my dear you cannot practice meditation without asana siddhi if you sit for 20 minutes to one hour without any halchal in the body without any shaking in the body straight sthiram if possible then you can focus your mind इट ईज अभ्यास तो कौंते या वैराग्येण च गृह्य अर्जुन आस्कृ लाड कृष्ण चंचल ही मन कृष्ण प्रमाधिबलवृढ़ तस्म निग्रह मे वायोरी वसु दुष्क हे अर्ज कृष्ण इट ईज वेरी डिफिकल टू कंट्रोल द मैं इट ईज लाइक होलिंग द विंड नर भगवान कृष्ण सैड हू सैड इट ईज ईजी नर अर्जुन इट ईज पॉजिबल बै अभ्यास अभ्यास तो कौंते हे कौंते प्राक्टीस इट रेग्युर्ली यू प्राक्टीस यू विल हेव दट कैपैसीटी यू विल गेट दट कैपैसीटी टू फोकस एंड लेटर ओनली ध्यान धारणा यू हेव टू प्राक्टीस फॉर् ए लांग टाइम इन दट धारण भगवान कृष्ण सेट तत्रग्र मन एकाग्रता धारण यतचिंद्रिय क्रिय उपवश्यासने युंजात योगमात्म विशुद्ध ऑल दीज आर देर इन भगवद्गीता बट वी हेव टू इंप्लीमेंट नाट बै बै हार्टिंग श्लोका इट वोट वर्क प्राक्टिकली हाउ मच ई डू एव्री डे इट्स लाइक मै भोजन एंड मै स्ना my life every day routine yoga must be one part of my life if you make it then you are the successful person controlling the body mind complex disciplining the body yukta ahara viharasya yukta cheshtasya karmasu yogasya pradham dwara vang nirodah adi shankaracharya says control your first speech what you are talking how much you are talking disciplining the speech your thoughts watch your thoughts they become your words watch your words they become your actions watch your actions they become your habits watch your habits they become your character watch your character it will become your destiny your destiny is in your thoughts watch your thoughts observe your thoughts don't waste your time in observing others other family members controlling them first control one's own mind is very very important this is to be taught for children for young age theory and all you need not teach for children asanas suri namaskar tell them the benefit of yoga then slowly they recognize in their later life by that time they get the benefit of asana pranayama they understand how to balance the mind once the body is balanced prana vital strength is there you have stamina to withstand in any upheavals in the life you start dharana focusing the mind ajya dharaya srotasa samam sarala chintanam viralata param dharana comes uh, very much later only dhyana starts how many people know this now very very few just to be talk about dhyanam 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 before dhyanam there is a practice called dharana to focus dhru dhatu to hold your mind on a particular object in front of object meditation 
we can call it as dhyayam i am dhyata sitting as a meditator i am doing dhyanam process i have to focus my mind dharana on that object of meditation that object of meditation also shastrokta devata murti is very important that is why vedic meditation is very very congenial highly safe <laughs> don't go for any other meditations whatever said in shastra go along with that why new new methods new new inventions of meditation not necessary not required we have already given in our shastra so much process in puranas you see nobody has done any other new inventions on meditation why to invent we have our own shastra given पद्धति इज देर मेथड इज देर टू मेडिटेट ध्रुव धातु फ्रॉम देर प्रत्याहार मीन्स यू विथ ड्रा आह्र प्रति प्लस आह्र प्रत्याहार विथ ड्रा सेंसेस एंड आफ्टर लॉन्ग प्रैक्टिस ऑफ धारणा ध्रुव धातु दट कम्स इन द थर्ड चैप्टर दट सूत्र ऑफ पतंजलि देर यू कैन do dharana for a length of time then comes uh, um, dhyana after a long practice of uh, six steps of ashtanga yoga you are fit enough to do dhyana until that time don't talk about dhyana <laughs> first master them then talk about dhyana okay desha bandha chittasya dharana is the sutra by patanjali थर्ड चैप्टर फर्स्ट सूत्र देशबंध चित्त देशबंध देश मीन्स प्लेस ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ मेडिटेशन बंध मीन्स फिक्स इट हेज टू बी देर ओनली फिक्सड देर ओनली चित्त देशबंध एव धारण सो योग प्राक्टिशनर मस्ट डू चित्त देशबंध रिटेनिंग द मैंड upon the object of meditation once you do that as ram dharma raj said yat yat etchet vang manasi pragnya tat etchet jnana atmani jnana atmani manasi ni etchet tat etchet shanta atmani beautiful all said in yoga patanja katha katopanishad also it comes then this is about dhyanam what do you mean by dhyanam now you are ready for dhyanam after long practice of uh, six steps of ashtanga yoga you come to dhyanam tatra pratyaya ekatanata dhyanam sutra patanjali sutra nowadays yoga means becoming a physical fitness exercise actually yoga is not uh, only for modern worldly people actually it is meant for spiritual seekers for worldly people to reduce blood pressure to uh, reduce uh, diabetes you know sugar problem or to reduce stress you can make use of yoga asana pranayama doesn't matter but that is not the ultimate purpose of yoga yoga purpose is to attain the ultimate truth this sadhana is given for spiritual purpose that is why yoga spiritual seekers always uh, many of them are yoga practitioners not kundalini and all just disciplining the mind pranayama sandhya vandanam in every day sandhya vandanam you do surya upasana you do gayatri japa pranayama is there apojo tira samvratam bhur bhuvasvaro what is that pranayama and how much you are focusing on that gayatri mata how much you are doing pranayama how much devotion is there the devotion is important meditation should not become mechanical to reduce my stress from the mind meditation also becoming hmm, 
worldly like uh, for uh, worldly accomplishments but that is not the purpose of patanjali never said never talk about that meditation anyhow you are making use of it okay it doesn't matter but meditation purpose is what ishvara pranidhanam patanjali said meditate upon your ishta devata now here comes dhyanam tat pratyaya ekatanata what raman maharshi says ajyadharaya shrotasa samam just like the river flowing continuous flow like that oil flow your mind thought of bhagwan ishvara krishna thought krishna name krishna form krishna glory should only continue vijatiya pratyay anantarita sajatiya pratyay pravahaha his dhyanam without any dissimilar thoughts maintain your thought process in similar thoughts even vidyaranya swami says in patanjali also every place it comes <laughs> hmm? we can talk hours together days together weeks together years together that much is there it is a ocean dhyanam dhai dhatu it comes from the dhai to meditate to ponder over to meditate on what on some object is it not required to have a meaningful object in front of me just meditations thought meditate on your thought these are all not ideal in the beginning meditate upon ishta devata take one murti one form of the lord whom you like ishvara pranidhanam then only samadhi siddhi is possible not just as what you like and take the object no modern trends are going haywire therefore our classical ancient paddhati is the best way follow that we don't want any new methods what are all said by our ancestors in our shastra we can take saguna ishvara dhyanam saguna ishvara eka roopa ishvara dhyanam ishta devata roopa dhyanam then you go to vishwarupa then you go to arupa that much later now with dhyanam you come to later samadhi absorption in dhyanam there is an effort prayatna shaithilyam should come then only you will go to samadhi in dhyanam there is a prayatna there is a prayatna um, in dhyanam but in samadhi there is no prayatna patanjali says um, ప్రయత్న శైథల్య అనంత సమాపత్తిభ్యాం వెన్ ప్రయత్న బికమ్స్ శిథిలం ఇట్ హ్యాస్ టు గో మై ఎఫర్ట్ షుడ్ నాట్ బీ దేర్ స్ట్రగ్లింగ్ ఫర్ మెడిటేషన్ లెగ్ పెయిన్ నీ పెయిన్ బ్యాక్ పెయిన్ స్లీప్ ఆల్ దిస్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ ఫిట్ ఫర్ మెడిటేషన్ దట్ ఈస్ మై యుక్త ఆహార మోడరేట్ food moderate interaction and moderate it is a big tapas not just like exercise it is a tapas then tato dvandva dvandva anabhidha anabhighataha dvandva anabhighataha he says once you sidhilam that effort goes away thereafter one is no longer troubled in the dualities of sense experiences even after sitting in meditation also they come thoughts will come and they chase you always um, in meditation only they will come more then many people start and they stop meditation very few will, people will become successful untiring practice you require what then he says uh in samadhi that uh, vibhuti pada he talks about um dhyanam 
तत्र प्रत्यय एकतानता ध्यानम मीन्स ध्याता ध्यानम ध्येयम बिकम वन ध्याता ध्यानम ध्येयम त्रिपुटी हैज टू डिजॉल्व वेन इट विल डिजॉल्व आफ्टर लॉन्ग प्रैक्टिस लॉन्ग लॉन्ग प्रैक्टिस इट कम्स देर फॉर यू रिक्वायर लॉट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इन गेटिंग द बेनिफिट ऑफ दैट then after dhyanam you have to absorb totally pramata pramanam pramayam triputi goes away meditator meditation meditative objects disappear you observe only that awareness will be there then comes samadhi what do you mean by samadhi samadhi also <laughs> um there is a definition for that for everything definition verbal roots are there not just uh, meaningless <laughs> they have some meaning in that samyak dhihi yasmin yo samadhi means avastha it is a state of mind it is a state of mind वन हेज टू धारण ध्यान सामधि त्र एक संयम दे आर् कॉल्ड संयम दट इज वै सिक्त चाप्टर इज कॉल्ड आत्म संयम योग आत्म संयम योग वेर ध्यान धारण ध्यान सामधि बिकम वन दट सामधि अभ्यास is possible only after doing meditation for a length of time length of time so samadhi sam plus a plus dhi tha tha tu from there it comes dhi absorption in samadhi you get full absorption of the mind that uh, अभ्यास कम्स निर्विकल्प समाधि इन योग शास्त्र दे टॉक अबाउट सवितर्क समाधि सविचार समाधि एंड सवितर्क आल्सो देर आर टू टाइप्स सबीज समाधि निर्बीज समाधि संप्रज्ञा समाधि असंप्रज्ञा समाधि नंबर ऑफ वेर देर आर द डिविशन्स विकल्पास थॉट्स डिफरेंस इज देयर दट इज सवितर्क सविकल्प or some prajnata like that they say where that division also won't be there that is nirvikalpa 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 means um, see samadhi we can take it two meanings then we see the vikalpa how kalpa has come how vikalpa has come how some nirvikalpa has come you have to understand <laughs> then some meaning is there if you understand easy to practice फस्ट मीनिंग ऑफ समाधि व्युत्थान निरोध संस्कार अभिभव प्रादुर्भाव सती चित्त एकाग्रता पिणाम फस्ट डेफिनेशन ऑफ समाधि निर्विकल्पक समाधि ज्ञातृज्ञान ज्ञेय विकल्प अनवभासपुरस्सर आत्मनि चित्त सामधान अट्ठे ब्यूटिफुल presentation given by all our acharyas then the second meaning of samadhi drashtru swarupa avasthana hetuhu chitta vritti nirodhaha iti samadhi i am not going to give word to word meanings and all because it will take a lot of time just i am you can get the meanings in books also the sutras so this is the second meaning then advaita vedanta what is samadhi in aprokshana bhuti acharya says yatra yatra manoyati brahmanah tatra tatra darshanat wherever the mind goes if i see brahman manaso dharanam chaiva dharana sa paramata that is the best dharana if you see beautiful aprokshana bhuti you can listen my talks there i have given all explanations सो समाधि अभ्यास रूप निधिध्यासनम इज गिवेन इन सिक्स्थ चैप्टर ऑफ भगवद्गीता फिफ्थ चैप्टर ऑफ भगवद्गीता ब्रह्माभ्यास रूप निधिध्यासनम 
ఇట్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ టు డూ విత్ సమాధి సమాధి అభ్యాస మెనీ ప్లేసెస్ ఇట్ కమ్స్ సమాధి వర్డ్ ఇన్ భగవద్గీత ఆల్సో దేర్ భగవాన్ టాక్స్ అబౌట్ సమాధి అభ్యాస ఫర్ అబ్జార్షన్ డిస్ట్రాక్ట్ డిస్ట్రాక్షన్ డివిజన్లెస్ మైండ్ దట్ ఈస్ అబ్జార్షన్ సమాధి చిత్త సమాధానం చిత్త సమాధానం లెట్ మీ కంప్లీట్ దట్ కల్ప హౌ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ కమ్ కల్ప క్లిప్ ధాతు క్లప్ క్లిప్ క్లిప్ ఈజ్ ద ఒరిజినల్ ధాతు క్రిప్ ఇఫ్ యూ టేక్ ఇట్ బికమ్ కల్పతే కల్పతే దట్ కల్పతే ఫ్రమ్ దట్ వర్డ్ వాట్ కమ్స్ వికల్ప కమ్స్ కల్ప మీన్స్ ఫిట్ ఫర్ ఫిట్ ఫర్ ఈజ్ దట్ మీనింగ్ ఆర్ అనదర్ మీనింగ్ ఉపసర్గ ఈజ్ ద జాయ్ అండ్ మీనింగ్ విల్ చేంజ్ వికల్ప వి ప్లస్ కల్ప ఫిట్ ఫర్ టు బి ఏబుల్ ఈజ్ ద మీనింగ్ ఒరిజినల్ మీనింగ్ కల్ప కల్పతే మోక్షాయ కల్పతే లార్డ్ కృష్ణ ఆల్సో యూజ్ దట్ వర్డ్ మోక్షాయ కల్పతే బ్రహ్మభూయాయ కల్పతే లైక్ దట్ కల్పతే కమ్స్ బట్ వి వెన్ ఉపసర్గ ఈ జాయింట్ ప్రిఫిక్స్ దట్ మీనింగ్ విల్ చేంజ్ వికల్ప మీన్స్ చాయిస్ యు హ్యావ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ చాయిస్ ఇన్ టేకింగ్ ఎనీ ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ ద గాడ్ మెనీ ఫార్మ్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ మెనీ నేమ్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ యు హ్యావ్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ చాయిస్ యూ కెన్ టేక్ వికల్ప ఈజ్ దేర్ either this or that choice called vikalpa divisions are there many 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 varieties of uh, things objects comes krishna means you take lot of uh, his form color all those abharanams and uh, ayudhams etc vikalpa either this form you can take or that form you can take any form you can worship vikalpa is there divisions are there ధ్యాత ఐ ఎమ్ ధ్యాత మెడిటేటర్ ధ్యానం ఐ ఎమ్ డూయింగ్ ధ్యేయం ఆబ్జెక్ట్ లార్డ్ కృష్ణ ఐ ఎమ్ మెడిటేటింగ్ అపాన్ వికల్ప ఈజ్ దేర్ థాట్స్ ఆర్ ఆల్సో చేంజింగ్ వికల్ప ఈజ్ దేర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ చాయిస్ వికల్ప ఇన్ పూర్వ మీమాంస శాస్త్ర వికల్ప వర్డ్ ఈజ్ యూజ్డ్ యూ క్యాన్ డూ హోమ విత్ ట్విగ్స్ అవైలబుల్ బెస్ట్ ఈజ్ ట్విగ్స్ అశ్వత్థ ట్విగ్స్ ఆర్ పలాశ వృక్ష ట్విగ్స్ ఓకే సెకండ్ ఆప్షన్ థర్డ్ ఆప్షన్ దర్భ యూ క్యాన్ టేక్ ఫర్ ఆహుతి దట్ ఈస్ హోమ సేక్ దిస్ ఈజ్ కాల్డ్ వికల్ప ఈవెన్ ఇన్ వ్యాకరణ దెర్ ఈస్ వర్డ్ యూజ్డ్ వికల్ప ఏదర్ దిస్ ఆర్ దట్ వైకల్పికం వికల్ప దెన్ ఫర్ దట్ వికల్ప వెన్ యూ రిమూవ్ దట్ వికల్ప యూ గో టు డీప్ సమాధి ధ్యాత ధ్యానం ధ్యేయం డిజపియర్ యు రిమెయిన్ ఇన్ అవేర్నెస్ యు రిమెయిన్ ఇన్ అవేర్నెస్ నిర్వికల్ప వికల్ప రహిత నిర్గత వికల్ప యస్మాత్ ఫ్రమ్ హూజ్ మైండ్ ఆల్ డివిజన్స్ ఆర్ గాన్ సబ్సైడ్స్ దెన్ హూ రిమెయిన్స్ ఓన్లీ అవేర్నెస్ consciousness there patanjali says this is the contrast you see up to here comparative study same there is no difference lord krishna shankara acharya all acharya talks about yama niyamas up to samadhi savikalpaka samadhi nirvikalpaka samadhi also but the benefit of meditation what patanjali says tada drashtuhu swarupe avasthanam when the person goes to nirvikalpaka samadhi dhyata dhyanam dhyayam submerge that awareness remain i am consciousness tvam pada gnanam that person gets samadhi abhyasa person the one who practice samadhi he gets absorbed into that uh, what uh, consciousness tada drashtuhu swarupe avasthanam is the patanjali sutra third sutra 
तदा मीन वेन द पर्सन कंट्रोल हिज मैंड बै आल प्राक्टीस मास्टर इन ध्यान धन सामधि सविकल्प टू निर्विकल तदा द्रष्टु दि अबर्वर स्वरूपे रिमेन अवैडिंग इन स्वरूपे अवस्थान हि रिमेन इन स्वरूप आत्मस्वरूप हि रईट्स द सूत्र थर्ड सूत्र तदा द्रष्टु स्वरूपे अवस्थान मीन्स देन दट योग प्राक्टिशनर अबैड्स इन हिस् रियल नेचर हियर ओनली वी डिफर वेदांत सुरेश्वराचार्य शंकराचार्य all of them say in mandukya upanishad also it is used nirvikalpaka samadhi word is used in mandukya upanishad advaita siddhi 34th shloka acharya writes nigrihitasya niruddhasya manasaha nirvikalpasya sarva kalpana varjitasya tasya dhimataha vivekavatah pracharaha he writes we also talk about nirvikalpaka samadhi but patanjali talks about nirvikalpaka samadhi only understanding that i am consciousness awareness that's all over that means after we are meditating upon krishna rama you forget about that form and all forms will go away names will go away and vikalpas go away you remain in atma swarupam over ashtanga yoga over but we the edantin sadvaitin won't stop there that is not ultimate that can come through not only samadhi it can come through avastha traya viveka also anvaya vitreka dwara in anvaya vitreka there are two stages sama that is drugdrishya uh, viveka avastha traya viveka dwara we can come to tvampada gnanam i am sakshi i am the witnesser of body mind complex i am different from the body mind complex when you come to shastra study shastra in the beginning itself avastha traya viveka we do drigdrishya viveka we do samadhi is not compulsory it is optional but that uh, sakshi gnanam aham Chaitanya Swarupam, Awareness, Consciousness, Gnanam comes in Samadhi also. Tvampada only over. What about Tatpada and Asipada in Mahavakya? Therefore, Sureshwara Acharya says, My dear, you have to come to Mahavakya for that. Anvaya Vitreka Rupa, Avasthatraya Viveka and Drugdrishya Viveka gives only Tvampada Vichara Gnanam. But you have to come to as a Shankaracharya said, Nigrihitasya niruddhasya, see nirodha, here also we have disciplined the mind, manasaha, nirvikalpasya, we are also talking about nirvikalpa, savikalpana rahita varjitasya, there is no vikalpas, then Purupakshi comes and asks, what is the difference, this nirvikalpa comes in sleep also, why we have to go to this uh, uh, um, nirvikalpa? there shankara acharya gives answer my dear in sushupti avidya tamas will continue raga dvesha asmita are all in potential form he says all of them are there in potential form they will not go they will not go after waking up again they will come but after gnanam After Jnanam alone, uh, you can Atma Bodhena, he writes in that Bhashyam. Atma Bodhena eva avidya will go away, ignorance will go, asmita, raga, dvesha, abhinivesha, all can go only through Mahavakya, tatpada vichara, asipada vichara, aikya jnanena eva, you understand I am that awareness, consciousness at Jagadadhishtanam. I am the substratum of the universe you get only through Advaita Vedanta, not by Ashtanga Yoga. We make use of Ashtanga Yoga, wonderful. We make use of Sankhya Yoga, we make use of Tarka for Anumana Pramanam. Similarly, we make use of Ashtanga Yoga beautifully, but we don't accept that Swarupa 
Drashtuhu Swarupe Avasthanam is incomplete. That is only Samanya Jnanam. Samanya Jnanam Aham Sakshi Chaitanyam Awareness Consciousness. So what? But uh, Visesha Jnanam Aham Brahma Asmi Jagadadhishtanam Brahma comes that Visesha Jnanam only through Tat Pada Vichara. Aham Jeevatma Paramatma Eva Ahameva Brahma Jagadadhishtanam I am the substratum whole Jagat is Mithya Asat that is only Sadasad Vilakshanam Mithya it is neither Sat nor Tuchya Asat it is Sadasat Vilakshanam Yavaharika Prapanchaha Maya I the Atma Paramarthika Satyam alone is the truth of this entire universe. This is the contrast between Yoga, Ashtanga Yoga and uh, Patanjali Yoga Sutras from whole thing. Ashtanga Yoga we take, up to Nirvikalpaka Samadhi also we take, but Tadadrashtahu Swarupi Avasthanam also okay, but we don't stop there. We come to Shastra, study Vedanta and understand that uh, Visesha Jnanam. Samanya Jnanam plus Visesha Jnanam through Mahavakya. This is the contrast. Yoga will not, uh, Samadhi is not given as a Pramanam for Jeevan Mukti. It is uh, another artificial sleep. Samadhi is an another artificial sleep. Sleep is natural. Samadhi is artificial, that's all. So, Samadhi is not a Pramanam for Moksha. It is not given in uh, six Pramanams. Pratyaksha, Anumana, Upamana, Arthapati, Anupalabdhi and Laukika Shabda. None of those places Samadhi is given. It is not a Pramanam at all. How can you take, uh, I went to supra-conscious state, uh, Turiyati, Tavastha, nothing doing. You have to come to class and sit, study from the Guru Mahavakya Vichara. If at all you go to Samadhi, Abhyasa, Nirvikalpaka Samadhi, you remain only in Thvampada. But you can never be free from Asmita, Raga, Dvesha. Again they come up. When you wake up from the Samadhi, they will come back. Ignorance is there. Avidya is there. Asmita is there. Likes and dislikes are there. Kartrutvam, Bhoktrutvam will be there. Asmita means Kartrutvam, Bhoktrutvam. Then Raga Dvesha, likes and dislikes. Abhinivesha, fear of death. If at all a person goes to Samadhi and Vibhuti Pada, there Patanjali warns, don't go for Siddhis. He talks about them in Kayalva Pada, Vibhuti Pada, all of them. So how much you have to take from yoga? It's a wonderful, beautiful practice. Make use of it for your spiritual sadhana. But understand and uh, see the contrast also. These are all come only after long study of scriptures. It's not easy. I am giving only bird eye view. This uh, clarity to come, it takes a lot of time. You have to study a lot. Practice, make use of your time and energy for higher knowledge. This is comparative and contrast study of Ashtanga Yoga Samadhi and Vedanta, Advaita Vedanta Samadhi. So, Bhagavan Krishna presents in Bhagavad Gita also. I hope I have communicated. If you have any questions, you all can ask. You are welcome. Hari Anybody has questions, raise your hands please or you can type it on the chat and I can ask Swamini on your behalf.
all of you can come to video also <laughs> international yoga day at least Ah, very good question. Contemplation is nididhyasanam. In Vedanta, we use that word nididhyasanam. Contemplation means um, rethinking, no? reliving in the teaching. Contemplation. There is a difference between meditation and contemplation. But people generally combine meditation and contemplation. Meditation is only an objective meditation. Meditation always ponder over, to meditate upon. So meditation is different from contemplation. Contemplation after doing Shravanam, Shastra, Bhagavad Gita, Upanishads, Prasthanatrayam, uh, minimum Bhagavad Gita after Shravanam, I do Mananam, I am free from uh, Ajnana and Samshaya, but Viparita Bhavana will be there, habitual orientation. So, Aham Brahmasmi, I cannot claim, in spite of listening from my Guru for a length of time, I am not bold enough to claim that I am Brahman, the whole world is Mithya. I cannot claim that Jiva Bhava continues in spite of studying Shastra. To remove that for assimilation, internalization of that teaching, whatever I have received from my Guru, I have to do contemplation, means I have to think. Uh, that uh, in Nirvana Shatkam, there are certain contemplative stotrams are there. So in uh, Viveka Shudamani, last verses are also uh, Brahma Tattva Masi Bravayatmani. Like that, I have to think again and again, I am not this body mind complex. Like that, uh, go on and on, living in the teaching as in Pujya Swamiji's words, alert living. Alert living in Shastra, I have to dwell upon whatever my teacher taught. Why I am not able to claim I am Brahman? Why I am not able to falsify the world easily? What is the reason? Because Jiva Bhava. To remove that contemplation, Nididhyasana. So the, the Samadhi practice can help for a person who has done Shravanam Mananam. And in Nididhyasam, you will be able to settle yes. the understanding. Very, very so helpful. It also will help yes. in terms of contemplating. Yes, yes. That focusing mind is so powerful because of uh, Ashtanga Yoga Abhyasa. Easily, actually, who practice, Paramarthana Swamiji's words are like this. Whoever practice Ashtanga Yoga, Vedanta is a walkover. Because mind is like an, a blotting paper, like a sponge, because of that focusing capacity, for that person actually uh, contemplation also not required. Sravanam itself uh, is sufficient for your Uttama Adhikari. Very, very difficult. That person must have practiced yoga for, uh, from teenage, from very young age. So then it is possible. Otherwise, every, maximum people require contemplation. So, meditation uh, becomes meditative life. So yes. Life yes, yes. So many, uh, thank you. So many, uh, the next question, so many is, what is eye-opened meditation? Eye-opened meditation, normally those who cannot uh, focus their mind by closing their eyes, Shastra recommends for some time, open your eyes and see the form for some time. Suppose you are a Shiva Bhakta, look at Shiva form, Shiva Linga form, and you draw the whole features of that form and close your eyes. Then you can meditate upon that. It is given, prescribed for those who cannot meditate um, in closed eyes, for them, open your eyes for some time, not completely, all the time, only for a few minutes. Again, open the eyes, look at the form of that object of meditation and collect the features of that characteristics and put in your mind and again meditate upon that. 
again mind goes outside again open your eyes for some few uh, days or months you can do that way question is is there different prescriptions based on gender no it is not so with regard to either ashtanga yoga or shastra there is no gender based division all can practice i am a yoga practitioner from my childhood i do till today sirshasana i did um, yoga samadhi abhyasa for eight years from my in my teenage so there is no gender any bar like that vedanta of course all can study vedanta all can get it in jivan mukti thank you swami uh, the next question is what is the next step for a sadhaka in samadhi to go for moksha uh, what is the next step for a sadhaka in samadhi to go for moksha a uh, very good question moksha means what is the definition of moksha first of all we have to understand according to shastra moksha means it is not a, a state to attain in a particular time or place moksha means understanding the truth that you are consciousness existence principle you are the substratum of this universe you understand that is called moksha there is no question of self realization atma sakshatkara different translations of different authors this uh, and our interpretation also wrongly we should not take moksha in samadhi moksha there is no connection moksha only one moksha recognizing i am nitya muktaha atma swarupam is the moksha there is no any other moksha shastra talks about krama mukti moksha after death uh, you can go to brahma loka these are all there but uh, the questioner should know the definition of moksha correctly otherwise the definition is not clear to me what is moksha then uh, i will be in hever uh, i am not very clear what is moksha what i am doing samadhi and moksha no connection samadhi will help you only to absorb in atma swarupam that's what acharya said atma bhavena atma bhavena nigrihitasya manasaha nar when you withdraw the mind from outside like they give in yoga example when your water is clean with no ripples you can see your face very clearly that's what patanjali said tada drashtuhu swarupe avasthana just as you see your face in the clean water without ripples similarly you see your consciousness seeing means you are aware of that consciousness i am consciousness but that is not that ultimate moksha i told you already avasthatraya viveka drigdrashya viveka through that also we get that for that you need not struggle so much Hmm, for samadhi and all it is only optional moksha means only understanding by guru shastra upadesha dwara thank you so much next question has come in bhagavad gita chapter 6 it says to have eyes half open please explain this with regard to most meditation with eyes closed yes this is uh, often you know people ask this question bhrur madhye chakshu our all lord krishna said you keep your vision on your bhrur madhye means don't take literally if you keep your eyeballs and the eyebrow center you will get headache you won't get any <laughs> samadhi you get headache only half closed eyes in shiva pictures and all they are showing half closed yogeshwar krishna lord shiva photos and all very good 
why half close na you won't get sleep if you close fully there is a possibility of sleep that's why half close is okay fine but don't take lord krishna's sixth chapter bhruvor madhye chakshu na you should not take it literally either you close or that meaning is as krishna said the meaning is don't see here and there that is the meaning also swami huh. this is not put too much pressure on the eyeball ah close tightly yes simply literally you have to see you should feel so relaxed gently close your eyes that's why we say gently close your eyes or anybody wants to say anything please raise your hands we can unmute you and uh... raise your hands if you want come to video and raise your hand and uh, can unmute can ask also anyone you want to share about the topic also you can share how do you feel about the topic if no questions any one of you want to share about the topic it is clear or most confusing or uh, so okay whatever you feel you can share are spell bound that also you can say <laughs> something very, very uh, revealing like right? uh, ensuring that uh, don't confuse samadhi practice with uh, jnanam as explained in vedanta so that you listen the clarity itself will help both samadhi as practice and the uh, vicharam after the both if you don't confuse both can be done Uh, both will have its own benefits. That is why it would, would, you are able to bring out the clarity in the whole session. That is very important. Hmm. So, there is one question that's come. Is Ashtanga Yoga the only way to self-realization? Where it is said, the questioner can give reference. if possible the reference must be authentic it must have shastra proof without that we don't accept it must stand for shruti yukti anubhava our shastra gives knowledge to us based on shruti shruti statements they are very logical yukti and anubhava also practically it should not be you know um, it should not go against to our day to day experiences so these three we keep in our mind shruti yukti anubhava if that is not there it is not acceptable shastra pramana should be there it must be logical it should not uh, go against my human experiences Uh, namaste swami ji mm. and swami ji mm. uh, it has been uh, a very revealing session over the years uh, we do gather a lot of impressions about meditation about yoga about vedanta and over uh, about uh, the various sadhana 
uh, paths that one chooses to take uh, to find uh, the objective of each one's life. Uh, each one, according to their <coughs> understanding, comes to their own conclusions based on the exposures that they have had in different fields. Uh, today we are very gifted to uh, listen to this very enlightening talk by a person who has not only practiced Ashtanga Yoga for so many decades, but has also such a deep uh, exposure to the pure form of Advaita Vedanta from none other than the doyen of uh, Vedanta, Advaita Vedanta, Swami uh, Puja Shri, uh, Swami Dayanand Saraswati. So a combination, a rare combination of, uh, uh, of this kind of an exposure over such a long period of time uh, gives to us the benefit of listening to uh, both sides of uh, uh, the practices and the lim limitations, of course, as, as, a, as a sadhaka, we don't uh, focus so much on the limitation as much as the clarity and understanding and also understanding where all this should really lead and uh, what we should fix as our objective and goal in life. Yeah. We are so we are so happy to have had this uh, blessing of uh, listening to you and having this clarity in our understanding. We are very indebted to you, Swamiji, mm. for this. And indebted to AIM for Seva also for organizing this talk. Very Thank good. you very, very much. Very good. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Sarvagana nicely summed up the whole evening. Thank you, Swami, once again for this session. Let us meet again as soon as you are ready. <laughs> Thank you, Swamiji. Thank you, Swami. Om, Om, Om Purnamadha Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyona Maha Harihi Om Hari Thank you so much. Thank you.